Hey friends, just going to do a little short on the uh, butterfly agama lizard, uh, the female. And uh, she's sleepy actually, but she's halfway out of uh, one of her hides she dug. Let me let that adjust a little bit. Um, we slept in today, so her basking light hasn't been on long. Now she has a um, heating pad underneath. Uh, and these guys are from arid conditions, desert basically. Um, so they like it hot and dry. And uh, the biggest problem I've had with a couple of them that I have lost, um, and they're not for beginners for sure, is uh, that they didn't keep themselves, their hydration balanced. And it's something they have to do as long as water is available. But uh, you can have a big water bow because they're very low humidity, very, very low. Um, so this girl has her basking light. She's got her heat pad underneath. She's got basking rocks, wood. Um, she's got a succulent that's, oh, actually putting out a new little stem over to the left there. So it must be doing well. Uh, this is the food bowl that I'm about to take out. And uh, she's done a good job on it. I still see some uh, flightless uh, fruit flies bouncing around in there. They always like to get in the food, of course, so I'll make sure I leave those in there. Check them out when I bring that out. And then this is today's. Uh, those are live mealworms, but uh, well, you can see them starting to move around a little bit there. They've been in the fridge, uh, and I got a ton of them for her. Uh, it's chopped spinach, it's chopped carrots, um, and it's chopped blueberries. A um, little bit of calcium powder on there. Um, she doesn't really need that, um, but a little bit on there. And the mealworms. So I'm going to put this in over by her. She moved away a little bit, as I said, that. <laughs> and uh, see if we can get her to eat. But I do want to keep this down to a couple of minutes. And I've given up on trying to keep the glass wiped down in here um, due to her digging and scratching. And, and one of her favorite things to do is to get under, under the, um, might be a little better if she'll come out under the food bowl because it retains heat and captures heat underneath and that uh, pad is in the corner. Who it is warm in here? I'd say it's about 90. Um, and these guys are often seen in temperatures of 110 and so forth. So she's very, very comfortable in the 80s and definitely in the 90s. So room temperature is not enough. Oh, I see her toe, her foot. I basically just wanted to feature what <clears throat> the habitat's evolved to, to, the habitat has evolved to be, and what she's eating. All right, guys, I will cut it here. Thanks for watching. Sorry we didn't see more lizard. But she does her own thing. I could uncover her, but I'm not going to do that. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.